Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm trying on a new little layout as you can see here. Uh, hopefully you can see the road and hopefully you can see the interior with the screen and, and my hands on wheel and everything I have. Thanks to a, and a big shout out and credit going out to Tesla Canuck, my buddy. He's the one who gave me this idea and this viewpoint to uh, try out. So full credit goes to him. What we're going to do is I've had um, Navigate on autopilot for for a while now and uh, last week I got 2019.12.1.2 so it's supposed to be a little bit better and I uh, added a few things but what I found is it changes lanes when it doesn't when it in my opinion it shouldn't change lanes and then like two seconds later it'll change back into the next lane and it's just like very schizophrenic type of thing so what I want to do is I'm gonna do a um, video just on my way to Toronto. It's probably about um, 30 kilometers, probably about um, 20 minutes. We're gonna hit some traffic and stuff like that. So you get, get to see it in conditions like this, and you're gonna get to see it in conditions like stop and go. So I'm gonna, all the boring parts, I'm gonna uh, fast forward and do a time lapse of that, but all the parts where it comes into some weird schizophrenic stuff, I'm gonna, <laughs> stop and show you guys so let's begin I'm gonna put it in navigate on autopilot I've just been in regular autopilot navigate on autopilot I'm gonna set the cruise control or the speed at 110 uh, just so you know it is set here for autopilot navigate on autopilot. it's set set to average I'm not gonna put on Mad Max it's just gonna be on average and let's see what happens so now we're slowing down a little bit here once again we're set to 110 as the cruise speed and um, we're doing about 80 or so and now we're slowing down to some um, bumper to bumper traffic this is Mississauga on the 401 eastbound it always does it okay so here's the first lane change it's asking me to do there's some cars that are gonna pass me give it a little nudge and uh, it can go this one's not bad let's see what happens after this That was fine. I've taken this route two or three times already this week, and I find if you're familiar with the GTA and the 401 um, and this stretch of the 401, this is where there's tons of construction through Mississauga and here Ontario and stuff like that. But after we pass that, we get near the airport. That's where it gets <laughs> it gets a little hinky, and um, you'll see. Uh, hopefully, my battery lasts here because I don't have a full battery, and uh, you'll get to see. Just in case the battery does go between now and then, folks, thanks for watching, <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one. And I don't even know if this video will even get put together if, it, if the battery craps out before then. Excuse me while I eat while I do this too, folks. Um, we're coming up to almost a standstill here. Like I said, this is where the construction is. Uh, what they're doing is they're expanding uh, the 401 stretch east and westbound here through Mississauga where they're making it into collectors and express lanes they'll have probably at the end of it hopefully 10 to 12 lanes of traffic going both ways so that'll be good it's just taking forever if this was China this would have been done already as we've seen with the um, Gigafactory 3 <laughs> but the reason I brought this up is because when we get up here Google Maps and uh, the map, which are the maps used by Tesla, it doesn't recognize that there's a change in the construction and the roads because over here, I don't know if you can see, over where all the construction is, that used to be the real 401 eastbound lanes. This is what they've added on and they've opened this and they've closed down that while they work on that. Uh, hopefully it's not wrong, but looking at all the machinery and mounds of dirt and, uh, yeah, they're nowhere close. <laughs> so, my point is, the uh, Google and or the maps, the navigation, always kicks me out thinking I'm getting off the off ramp. So it kicks me out of autopilot or nav on autopilot. What it'll do, you'll see this one solid line which depicts navigate on autopilot. That'll go off. It'll go down to regular autopilot with the two lanes or the two blue lines depicting just regular autopilot, and then it'll pick it up after and then I'll go back to navigate on autopilot. You'll see, it's coming up here. Oh, 
should have said at the beginning, this may be a long video. Oh, just so you know too, my setting is on five spacings between each car. I don't like going more, more than four or five, nothing shorter, nothing longer. Four or five seems to be a nice sweet spot for me. So here we're coming up to where the Navigate Arapa is gonna kick off. You can see the orange line already. It's off, off the blue line. Really? The one time I come through here, it doesn't do it while I'm recording, make me look like a liar. It actually didn't do it. So I don't know what happened there, folks. It's done it every single time before. Oh, coming up to this Y split, where it goes east, uh, collectors and express. This is also a little hinky. It, yeah, it always does this. And I always have to have my hand on the wheel, which I do anyways, but it must confuse the people behind me. They must think I'm on drugs or something. So now it's asking for a left lane change, but there's a car coming up really fast. So it's gonna let that go. That was good, I guess it saw the speed. And now it's still hesitating. I don't know why I've, I've nudged it. Uh, it doesn't wanna go, see, this is what I'm talking about. People behind me are confused. Now it's really, I'm letting it do, do it just for the uh, video here. But I am keeping my foot near the brake and my hand on the wheel. If this was normal and I wasn't recording, I would have uh, corrected this by now. But I just wanted to show you the limitations on Navigate on Autopilot and how how and why it's still considered to be in beta. Because what happened back there, <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. Actually, I've never seen that happen where it's hesitated so much and it forgot that it was coming up close to the car behind me, uh, in, in front of me, I mean. Now it wants to change back over out of the passing lane, which is good, but it's, once again, it's still, I don't know what it's doing. It's, now it's ping-ponging. Yeah, the guy behind me, guarantee he thinks I'm drunk. So now we're at 110, we've passed the um, bumper to bumper traffic. It should be smooth sailing here. What's gonna happen, we're coming up to the airport and I'm gonna be getting off very soon at Eglinton. And that's where it's gonna get a little weird. In the past it has, but you know what? See what it did there? It's done this a few times too, where it says it wants to change lanes and then it just turns itself off. Now I'm giving it the nudge, uh, the confirmation. So it changed lanes there, no problem. Probably because it recognized the tractor trailer in the uh, far right lane there, going slower than 110. So I'm in the middle lane, I should be fine now. I don't need to be in the passing lane. I don't need to be in the uh, far right lane. I should be good. But as it comes up, like I said, and it passes the um, the junction where the 427 branches off and the 401 continues, they're just two different highways, folks. Um, if you're not familiar with it. That's where, in the past, it's gone a little wonky. Let's see what happens. wants to there's nobody in front of me I'm gonna cancel it and it comes right back and cancel it again it comes right back it's a lot more persistent in, in 12.1.x like it just keeps wanting to come back there's nobody in front of me I'm doing 110 I'm nowhere close to that car but it just keeps wanting to go into that passing lane and it there's no need to go into passing lane there's other cars that are going faster than me I am so far behind that truck that there's no need for it to want to go there. Now this guy comes into my lane. Now I can see it wanting to change and it does. So I will uh, give it the confirmation that I have my hands on the wheel. It will change lanes. Now I'm in the fast lane. A little bit of construction around here. And look, now it wants to go back over. Okay, I'm not gonna confirm. Okay, I'm gonna confirm now. Is it gonna break? It's already passed this 
truck. Why would it break? Why would it? I don't get what it's doing. I'm gonna. I'm, you know what, I'm gonna let it do what it, I was gonna accelerate, press the accelerator, but I'm gonna let it do what it's doing because there's nobody behind me, I'm not interfering with traffic. That was also weird because uh, the line markings sort of went away there, so that's not its fault. That's just the line mark, the lane markings. Okay, so we're back on, I had to come off there like I said. But it was past the truck and it wanted to brake. <laughs> And now, even though it has to get off here in um, another two kilometers or less, it wanted to go, okay, it wanted to go left, now it wants to go right. See, this is what I'm talking about, the schizophrenic behavior of um, this version. I, I found it was a little schizophrenic on 8.5, the previous version I was on, but this is worse. It was supposed to get better, but I, like I said, I find this actually worse. So we'll be getting off the exit here onto Eglinton getting off the highway completely. See, it's not doing it here. It's set for 110, the highways. Oh no, it is gonna do it, watch. Now, it's getting off in like 900 meters, but for some reason, it wants to change lanes. Let's see if it changes lanes and speeds up and passes these vehicles. Nope, it just wants to go back to where it was. So now I'm gonna give it the confirmation. It's gonna break and get behind this Q7. The guy behind me probably thinks, what is wrong with this guy? Is it even gonna have time? No, I don't wanna miss my exit, folks, so I'm gonna take over here and um, confuse the guy behind me. See, I don't know what happened there. Like, I know exactly what happened. I shouldn't say I don't know. I know exactly what happened. It should have stayed in the far right lane because here we're getting off on Eglinton. But instead, just because it detected um, this car going a little slower than 110, um, it decided it's gonna try to overtake it, it only had 900 meters before the exit. It didn't calculate the distance to what speed I'm going at to what it needed to get off. So that was a little weird. It, it's been doing that the last two or three times, like I said, that I've come up this way. So I'm not surprised it did it again. That's what I wanted to show you guys. That, that's just a little taste. That's what I've uh, been on, on on this for about 10, 15 minutes now, the highway. So that's just a little taste of what um, and how the, the behavior of Navigate on Autopilot is doing with the latest version. This is 2019.12.1.2, uh, so it's the latest public version, which is beta. There There is a 19 version out somewhere um, that's being released to a few people here and there recently, but the majority, like uh, last time I checked um, Teslify, I think, or whatever, website it is where it tracks all the software firmware versions this was as of yesterday this was like 50 or 60 percent of uh, the model threes or the tesla fleet in general had this version on there so anyways folks that's all i wanted to show you um hope, hopefully it wasn't too boring um leave your comments below let me know if if you're getting the same behavior when you guys are using navigate on autopilot um or if this is shocking to you and you've never seen this and you're wondering what the hell is Dax doing wrong um, okay yeah, there you go see at least you signaled yeah let me know uh, comment below folks and um, let me know if you're experiencing this kind of stuff and <coughs> I'm choking sorry time to drink some water I will see you guys on the next one take care